The campus of Flagler College is mourning the loss of one of its students. 18-year-old freshman Joshua Alford died last night. The St. Augustine Police Department says it will have to wait for the autopsy and toxicology results, but that it appears Joshua died from a pre-existing medical condition. News 4 Jacks reporter Elizabeth Campbell spoke to Joshua's roommate. She's joining us live from St. Augustine. Elizabeth. Well, police say that Joshua's body was found in this area last night. This is near the intersection of Sanford and Bridge Streets. And just this morning, hours after learning the break, heartbreaking news, his friends left these flowers, as you can see here in the fence and on the fence post. It says, rest in peace, Joshua. A young man in his first semester of college with a bright future. Joshua Alford's roommate, also named Joshua, says they've only known each other since August, but their friendship was already a special one. We met the very first day. I think August 25th was move-in day. Um, I was there first and he walked in. A huge smile on his face. This is their group of friends on Halloween. Joshua on the far left. His roommate says Joshua brought them all together. And even though he's not here, he's still with us and he's still holding us together, just like he did when he was around. Joshua's roommate says he was a coastal environmental science major and wanted to go to law school. Having gained a good one, for sure. It's unbearable. It's like it's like crazy how things can just change. So like, you know, we're all having a good time last night, then we get the news and it's just changes so drastically. His roommate having a hard time believing Joshua won't be returning to the dorm they share, but thankful for their many memories together in the last three months. Joshua's roommate says he's from Columbus, Georgia, and that his mom and possibly other family members were heading down to St. Augustine today after learning the news. We're told by Flagler College they do have grief counselors available for any students who may need them during this difficult time. Reporting live from St. Augustine, Elizabeth Campbell, Channel 4, the local station.